Good evening guys, uh, I have a replay here in Buckland 2 vs 2 The teams look very interesting We've got uh, Papillon who is Goblins and he's playing with uh, Sidious who is Men And uh, their opponents are Eomer who is Mordor And this guy Baskil here, he's Goblins You know um, Sidious from my last uh, Battle for Middle Earth 2 Arena match. He's an excellent player. And also, you know Papillon. He's a good player as well. Helleomer is also um, an excellent player. I don't know much about this guy, Baskly. But uh, he seems to be starting alright. Barracks and Spider Pit. Sidious is uh, starting with Eowyn. Good choice if uh, you know your opponent will play with Felbeast. He's already sending Eowyn to his teammate's base to help him as if he knew that uh, Felbeast was going straight to Papillon's base Of course uh, Eomer will want to destroy Papillon's spider pit Nice move by Eomer, he sees that Eowyn is uh, on the top of the map and uh, he decides to attack Sidious base. He's very careful, he's not staying long, uh, he just uh, attacks and uh, kills his builders.
Nice attack by Eomer and Baxley. They are attacking together. Eomer is attacking Papillon's fort. Sidious is using Eowyn to kill uh, Eomer's fell beast. Nice fight. Pascal is uh, keeping his uh, troops a little still. I don't like that. Especially with goblins, you have to be constantly on the move, destroying farms and buildings. Good thing is that uh, for Papillon and Sidious at least. The good thing is that uh, Eowyn is level 4 now and she can use uh, her horse. So if uh, Eomer decides to play with Felmist again, it will be a lot easier to kill him with uh, Eowyn mounted on a horse. Papillon has lost most of the buildings in his base, he will soon lose the rest. Eomer will want to reach Mouth of Sauron level 10 so he will want to keep moving him around uh, the three layers that remain to level him up I do believe that uh, Papillon lost his last builder. I can't see anyone else in the map. So yeah, if he did lose his builder, things are very bad. It will be 2 versus 1 from this point on, since Papillon has only uh, one farm here and another one here. So with two farms, he will have yeah only 200 command points, 
and that's like uh, the two spider riders that he already has. Sidious will want to use cavalry soon. It's the only way to destroy some of your opponent's farms as fast as you can. And also with Theoden you can also attack his base using his uh, glorious charge skill. Sidious is trying to corner Eomer in. In Buckland, those uh, four hills outside each player's base are very important. Uh, most of the times you will see people using them for defense, but uh, since Eomer can't play with uh, archers, Sidious is using his heel to corner him and not allow him to move more troops in this area here. Here comes uh, Sidious Cavalry.
very poor handling of his hero. Okay, Elmer has uh, the Witch King now. The Witch King is very good on foot when you're facing uh, men or goblins. So in this case, he's facing both armies. So the Witch King is a must. Although Papillon doesn't have a lot of uh, spider riders, he cannot recruit more. And uh, Sidious is not playing with massive cavalry. So maybe in this case, uh, the Witch King could be avoided. But yeah, in cases where you're facing massive cavalry uh, and uh, your opponent, say, brings all his cavalry right here to destroy some of your buildings and uh, there is a big concentration of army, the Witch King can kill most of them with only one hit. It's very powerful. Yeah, so Elmer reached Mouth of Sauron level 10 and he has used his evil eye to kill Boromir. Now that uh, Boromir no longer exists, Elmer tries to attack uh, Sidious' base. Basically, is helping his teammate to destroy uh, Sidious Tower. Bad use of Witch King by Eomer, he's gonna lose him now. That's what I'm saying about Witch King. Uh, you can't use him for uh, attacking infantry units, uh, especially when uh, the other guys play with towers. Because you will lose him very fast, he doesn't have uh, big health or uh, strong armor, I'm not sure which. But uh, you're going to lose him very fast and he costs a lot to get back. So most of the times you will want to use him on defense. For example, now that uh, Sidious is bringing two troops of cavalry along with Thurden, if he had Wishing here, he would have nothing to worry about. Elmer will want to use Marth of Sauron Evil Lie on Theoden, here it is. Theoden is dead, and also along with Theoden, his cavalry doesn't have the leadership now. <laughs> Sidious used the uh, Eowyn skill, the disguise as a normal or hear him. First time I see this skill being used. So basically, if your opponent is man and he's playing with towers, you're gonna need lots of catapults to destroy his little base. Um, bad thing is that one of the towers is on a hill and it will probably have better range than uh, Eomer's catapults.
Sidious is making a move on uh, Baskley. Here you can see how strong Mouth of Sauron is at uh, greater levels. He just killed Boromir, along with Boromir his troops lost uh, leadership. Okay, here Eomer used his 15 point magic skill, the Barrage, along with uh, his fourth level 5 upgrade, uh, Gorgonoth's Fire. He still didn't manage to destroy uh, the tower though, but uh, it was a very good move because he destroyed most of uh, the spearmen that uh, Sidious had, and along with them. Nice battle here.
very nice attack by Papillon and Sidious. Here you can see the proper use of uh, the Witch King, he literally killed all those armies here, in this area, with just a couple of hits, nothing more. Sidious has managed to destroy the entire base of uh, Baskley here, but uh, he paid the price of uh, losing his base, which was keeping Gaomer back. Uh, I think it was worth it. Crippling one of your opponents is obviously. very important um, and I'm not sure if Eomer can do much in his situation uh, he doesn't have any attack trolls but he does have some uh, catapults and he has witch king to protect his catapults So basically he will want to move all this army along with uh, his catapults and his uh, witch king all together somewhere around here and keep them here while his catapults are destroying uh, Sidious towers. Here comes uh, Eomer's 25 point magic skill.
Citrus is trying to recapture this area right here. Um, very nice play by Sidious so far. He's been very aggressive with his uh, defense actually. And plus he has uh, two fully upgraded Rohirrim along with Theoden level 6. Obviously very important. I believe it would very much worth uh, spending the 25 point magic seal that Eomer used for killing uh, 4 battalions of Sidious in uh, this area right here to destroy Papillon's last building and uh, defeating him not allow him to continue playing in the game because Papillon might be crippled, but he's still playing, he's still using his uh, goblins and his uh, spider rider to move around and destroy farms. And of course, when you're playing 2 versus 1, it totally, it's totally different. Uh, so yeah, I think those guys should, should have tried to destroy Papillon's last building. Of, all, of course, with those two towers here, it would be... Okay, although Sidious doesn't have any archers inside, they don't know this, but uh, they could use some magic that uh, would destroy this building. Sidious now tries to corner his opponent. I don't like this tactic very much because look at how many towers he has. He has four here. Okay, now. Probably uh, Eomer and the other guys told him that he's using too many towers. He has uh, two in his, uh, for his defense and three here. Five towers is already too much. <coughs> I think. Uh, I think in Buckland, three towers max for each team is uh, is fair.
Okay, here comes uh, Sidious Magic, 25 point magic skill, Army of the Dead. Here comes the Earthquake as well, very nice play. I believe this game is over. Spear actually doesn't do a lot of damage to Drogoth, she only does a lot of damage to Fell Beasts. So, yeah, this game is definitely over. Um, well played by Sidious, although with his uh, teammate being crippled. managed to fight back. Of course, he was the perfect army. Uh, men are excellent in defense, but also very strong in offense. Still, it was a very hard thing to do. Fight back two players. In my opinion, Baxley played uh, very bad. He was goblins, he should be extra aggressive with his army, yet he kept them still, he didn't attack so much. Elmer is still fighting back, he used all his skills, his 25 point magic skill, his uh, fortress skill, he's using a uh, Math of Sauron, everything. I was talking to Elmer once and he told me Muma kills are excellent for defense so if you have your fort fully upgraded and uh, three Muma kills, Muma kills he told me near your fort there's almost no way for your opponent to attack and destroy you of course Sidious did use Army of the Dead first and then uh, Earthquake so I think even with Muma kills Elmer wouldn't have been able to do much. guys I hope you enjoyed it very good match thank you all for watching